the gate, I have to ask, by playing Elizabeth Tudor, you are following in the footsteps of Kate Blanchett, Helen Mirren, Judy Dench, among other notable names. How does it feel kind of joining this legacy? Uh, it was in, and still is so intimidating. You just think it's, uh, I, I don't know, it's, it's just like too, too, too hard, too much to even try to fit in there some, some way or the other. I was just very relieved that we are um, portraying the, the early years. So uh, there is not that much comparison um, possible. Helen Mirren said that um, when she researched, um, she found a painter um, who portrayed Elizabeth and he was like, this is just my version of the, of the queen. I'm not saying it is her. It's mm. just my version of her and that she's only trying the same. And I think that just really helped me to calm down. It's just <laughs> our version of it. There are likely many people out there who feel like they know Queen Elizabeth's story. How does this show take a unique perspective on her life? I think it's just more about the human behind those characters we know from the books. I think it's so... We try to make it as relatable as possible, as raw and truthful and, um, yeah, as, as psychological, you know, like, as possible as well. It's just, um, I think her, like, being a princess and, and um, like, like, I don't know, fulfilling her duty is just one side of it. But looking at those relationships that were, like, so much more complex than uh, just, you know, I don't know, dates and, and politics and religion. And it's just to have a look at those those um, relationships and and understand that there was no black and white, that no matter how difficult it must have been between her and her siblings, there was also love and also a history and they grew up with each other. To find all those in-betweens, those grey tones rather than rather than black and white, um, I think is, is the um, most beautiful approach and, and what made me fall in love with the project. <laughs>